What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So, you're joining me in my Fiesta ST 180 and today I actually plan to do something that I've been putting off for a little while just because I haven't had the time. As people who frequently watch the channel will know, I'm forever trying to broaden my skill set and today is no different. I've bought some wrap and I'm going to try and wrap a couple of bits on the interior. The wrap's inside so I'll show you guys that in a minute but I'm not quite sure how this is going to go. It's going to be a bit of an experiment, but I'm all for trying stuff and adding to my skills. So without further ado, let's get on with this video and I'll show you what I'm going to be attempting to wrap. I'm sure quite a lot of people are quite familiar with these interiors, and I was because I had an EcoBoost before. Bit annoying though, because this bit of trim down here isn't the piano black or gloss black like on the EcoBoosts. As for all the other bits on the interior, I don't really like this silver, so I'm going to try and wrap this cruise control and volume surround today. As well as these little bits on the handles, I know you can get these in the gloss black colour, but I'm going to try and wrap these as well. I would also like to wrap these handles, but I just think that would be a bit too technical for me, and I think I'm going to get them sprayed gloss black. I'm going to get going removing the plastic trims that I want to wrap in this video. I'm just going to do a short little montage. I'm not going to show you guys how to take them off because it is fairly straightforward. So I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. That's just how things go sometimes, so finally got the airbag out. Done loads of these before at work. We have to do is press on the metal tabs either side at the same time when it pops out. And then it just flung out and I've broken the clip, so I think I'm gonna need a new clock spring now. guys so as you probably already know I'm no Yanomizi this is my first time wrapping and yeah this is the wrap I've bought just some carbon fiber effect from eBay I think it was about 15 pounds got some Chinese writing on there so definitely gonna be some premium quality I think what I'm gonna do first is one of these door handles just giving them a quick wipe over to make sure there's no grease or anything on them that might interfere with a wrap Something like that. Want a bit of excess, so I'll just cut that halfway. So I've cut the wrap out to size, and I've got my little squeegee here. Don't really think I need this, because it's only really small. I've got the heat gun as well, just in case. And yeah, I'm just going to roll it, and uh, you can see what happens along with me. Here we go. Right. <laughs> oh, I really don't know what I'm doing. Right, so I've got it on there roughly now. I'm just going to put a bit of heat on it and try and stretch it over the corners. Just want to say this is my first ever time wrapping and yeah I don't think that's gone bad at all. I still need to trim it all up. Just going to go get um, a really sharp knife from the garage but not bad at all. A few tiny little creases there but um, yeah I think I'm going to do the other side and I'll probably redo this one. So here is the finished product. The only thing where I did go wrong is this, I've done a relief cut in the middle here and it's actually gone all the way through 
don't think the GoPro will pick it up, but yeah, not bad for my first go. I'm gonna take this off and redo it, and uh, hopefully we get perfection the next time around. What do you think of this then? It's 99% perfect. Yeah, I think I'll uh, settle with them for the moment. Better do the other side now. So, now I'm pretty happy with this side. I'm actually not going to do this one yet. I'm going to tackle the big piece, which is this volume and cruise control surrounds. Um, just going to go for the same sort of technique. Going to lay it out, make sure I've got a big enough size, make a little incision down the middle, and yeah, just use the heat gun to fold it around and then start to trim it off but yeah it's not going to be a hundred percent perfect because obviously i'm not a professional rapper but um for the time being i think it's a nice little quick fix and it actually gets me learning how to rap and then if i wanted to in the future take a course or whatever just going to see how this one goes now and i'll catch back up with you guys in a minute So I have attempted wrapping this around, but hasn't gone too well. This side wasn't too bad, but when it got down there, it split. And then, yeah, it just went downhill from there. And so I've also taken a bit off the side there. Right, here we have the finished product of the two handles I've now completed. Really happy with how these have come out. Took quite a few goes, just a bit of trial and error like anything, but I've now seemed to have got them about 99% perfect. As for the steering wheel surrounds, this has ha taken a couple of attempts already and they've failed, but just don't want to give up and let this video fail, so I'm gonna stick with it. Still got quite a lot of wrap left, so I'm gonna see what I can do and try to get it somewhere perfect. So without further ado, cue the time lapse and hopefully in a few minutes, I'll have that completely wrapped and finished. <clears throat> Just going to give you guys a little progress update. So it is going really well now. Looking proper good. Just dealing with this bottom bit haven't split it like last time very tight down there but yeah it's looking good let's uh, get this other half done three hours later all right so I'm nearly there now I did actually forget to put the time lapse on which is really annoying but this is how the trims looking it's not perfect but it's really not bad at all I've uh, neatly tucked all the excess in there and cut away as much as I can I'm just got a do the holes for the speaker volumes and the cruise control now, but yeah, not looking too bad at all considering I've never wrapped anything before. Right, so I've got a clock spring on order. I'm gonna refit this for the time being because obviously my ST is my daily use car. Just putting in the wheel surround controls now. These are just tiny little Torx 8s. There it is with all the switches on now. Really, really nice. Happy with how that's come out.
And there we have it, all the plastics that are wrapped are now fitted back to the ST and I'm really happy with the outcome. Viewers who have been subscribed to the channel for a while will know that I'm a perfectionist and I'm really happy with these jobs, so that must mean something. I think seeing as it's my first time and I'm just wrapping up this video, I want to give a couple of little pointers out for anyone else who's going to try to wrap some small items for their first time. First things first, make sure you give yourself enough time. So set a morning or afternoon beside just so you can wrap one piece because I did end up spending about four hours on these three pieces and I was very, very close to giving up. So just make sure you've got enough time. Secondly, I would advise with the heat gun, little but often. So you don't want to burn it out, but you do want to keep on giving it little blasts of heat to make sure it doesn't shrivel up or go misshapen. So yeah, make sure little and often heat as well. But apart from that, that's the uh, two little rules that I stuck to. I'm no Yanomizi, uh, obviously people do this for a living, I've realised that I'm a mechanic for a reason today, but I have enjoyed wrapping these few bits on the Fiesta ST, whether they'll last long or not, I'm not too sure yet, but I'm happy and that's all that matters at the moment. I think that's about it for this video, make sure if you did enjoy it, give it a like, if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel to see more. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. As people probably already know from watching the channel, I'm forever trying to... What's it called? Um... As people would probably know if you've been following the channel for a little while, I'm forever trying to... Trying to... Um, what's it called? Uh... You twat.